So hello everyone, glad you joined us here on YouTube. Just wanted to uh, touch base with you. We had some issues with recording on Sunday. For whatever reason, it was real scratchy and then uh, someone couldn't hear part of what I was saying and then eventually it just went quiet for most of the message. Uh, so instead of repreaching the whole thing, I just thought I'd just give you a highlight of what we looked at on a Sunday morning. And so um, we're in the series of change. And as we went through uh, chapter one, we started out talking about uh, trials and how the importance of persevering through and not giving up on God. And, and someday we'll be with him in heaven forever. And we just need to persevere through, through these um, uh, maybe trials we might have. Then we talked about temptations and how our own evil di desires are uh, what causes our temptations. And that we need to exchange our desires for the selfish things that we want for the desires of God, and specifically for God himself. And then we moved into the rest of the chapter, James finished it up on Sunday, and here he kind of transitions on what to do, uh, how to live that life, and, and how to live his life through trials, how to live his life that would maybe help change our evil desires, and, and change what we do, take us from the falling into temptation, and doing what we're supposed to do. And so, uh, I just want to highlight the main point which is uh, found in verse 22 and 23 of James 1. Do not merely listen to the word, and so deceive yourself. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror, and after looking at himself, goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. Uh, but whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. And so what it came down to is we need to be people who don't just hear the word. We don't just read the Bible. We don't just listen. We don't just go through a routine of stuff. But we hear it and we apply it. We allow what Jesus taught us as we focus on the Gospels and what the Apostles teach us. We look at the Epistles and other letters. We just look at those things and, and we hear the stories. We hear the teachings and we apply it to our lives. And we become doers. We do what Christ asks us to do. We follow him. We get involved in, in ministry. We get involved in doing things with the church. We get involved in doing things with our neighbors and our family. Uh, we, we're involved in making changes in our own life and doing what God has told us and instructs us through his word for our own benefit. Um, all of those things that he asks us to do, it's for our own benefit. Just like when you go to the doctor and says, hey, you need to cut back on fried food because your cholesterol is too high. And so he gives you kind of a diet where you should go by it. We, we don't look at that and go, oh, this doctor just a joy kill. They want me to eat good food. No, the doctor wants you to be healthier, to live longer, and to enjoy the life that you're here. And it's the same with the instructions of God. He's saying, hey, I want you to do these things because it will make life better. It'll keep you through temptations. It'll help you through trials. Uh, it'll, it'll help you communicate my love to other people by doing these things. All of it is a positive thing for us. And so that was what our, our main point of the message uh, is to that we are, are doers, that we don't just walk the park, go to church, say the right word, act a certain way in certain times and another and another, but that we actually do the things we say we believe. And so uh, sorry you're getting the abbreviated message, uh, but I didn't want you to miss out completely. So that is uh, that, and hopefully we'll all be straightened out uh, for next Sunday as we uh, continue in James and start looking at chapter two. Uh, God bless you. Have a wonderful week.